Okay, I think we're ready to go. In a formal proof, what's going to happen is you're going to be told a given, and then you're going to be asked to prove something. So, let's start with one, and uh, for those of you following, this is proof that is on the study guide and intervention on page 43, and what we're given is this. Given 4x plus 6 divided by 2 equals 9. They're asking us to prove x equals 3. Now, when we do formal proofs, your first statement, what we're going to do is we're going to end up with a column, two-column proof or formal proof. You're going to end up with a column of statements and a column of reasons. Your first statement is going to be your given or your givens. I like to put each given separately. Okay, so if there are three givens, you're going to start with three statements. The very last statement is going to be this proof statement. Okay? Alright? So pay close attention to what we're going to do and how we do it. To call a proof, here goes. We're going to have statements. And then we're going to have reasons. Okay, so statement number one. 4x plus 6 divided by 2 equals 9. Statement number one, what's the reason? Given. Okay, now using those properties, let's see what we can do with this, if we can get this in here. Statement number two, best thing for us to do is multiply by two, isn't it? So I'm going to multiply everything by two. Reason? Multiplication. Property. Okay? Statement number three. goes away, and this is going to be 4x plus 6 equals 18. Substitution. We substitute it. Now, what's the next thing we need to do with this equation? It would be nice to get rid of this 6. So the next statement would be 4x plus 6 minus 6 equals 18 minus 6. Wow, it sure looks like we're doing some subtraction, doesn't it? Okay. What's the next thing we're going to do? We're going to substitute that subtraction with some values. So statement number 5 is going to be 4x equals, well, what is that? Handy handy calculator out. Find out it is 12. So what is this one? This one is substitution. Okay? You always knew solving equations was a lot of work. You just didn't know how much work you were doing, did you? Six. What do we need to do next? Looks like we need to do some division. So 4x divided by 4 equals 12 divided by 4. What's the reason? Division. All right. How many more statements you think we got to go? Seven. X equals three. Wow. Seven. Substitution. Formal two-column proof. Notice we start with our given. The last is the first statement. The last statement is what we want to prove. This goes here. It's our statement. The last statement needs to be this one. You never use this as a reason. You 
you may use this as a reason. Never use prove as a reason. Use prove as a reason, it will be counted wrong, incorrect. For your givens, well, you obviously can't put that over here. Notice you number your statements over here, number your statements over here. Okay. Just follow one right after another. What'd you do? List it out. 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 That's what you've been doing whenever you do algebraic proofs and you've been solving algebra problems. Okay, let's try one more. And then we're going to take this over into the geometry arena and see what it looks like over there. 